I'm just making this look more like layers of old wallpaper and plaster work. Hey guys, it's Jamie here and it's time to do the Sherlock Holmes journal cover. I've decided to continue with the masterboard series as well and use an existing cover which has been strengthened with a bit of Amazon packaging down the spine to do a masterboard style journal cover. So I have scraps, lots of them, that have been stained with vintage photo. I've got some Mod Podge, you can use any glue for this. You could water down some white glue. This will not be the last thing that we do to this cover. And see I'm going into those bends as well. I have smaller pieces to cope with turns and corners and bends. We pop a bit down. And as with all the masterboards so far in this series, we smooth it down. Then we're gonna grab another bit of something contrasting. Here we have some music score. And what we're gonna do is go over the border eventually. So for the time being, we will put it so that it can go over the border and overlap and it's going into that bit as well. Got to make sure this one's down really well because that will wrap around onto the inside cover. And then we have another piece here that's something different again. And this time we could start to go over the spine area and you can see that I'm pushing it down into that crease and then over. So we you can get other bits of something just to make sure that you get that bend. Good coat over the top as well. And that's another piece on. So I am going to continue to add bits and pieces to this. This coat is now dry. The next stage I want to do is to take the vintage photo and stain it all over. So that we get a really grungy look. The next stage we're going to do, which I've done before on a different master board, but I really like the effect, is to use the raw umber acrylic paint to create some coffee stains by painting the bottom of the cup and placing that over in strategic-y type places. Try and get it on a bit thicker this time. See if we can get a better print out of it. Then we'll do one there. Give it a wiggle. And then the other thing I did before, which again I like the effect of, is to water this down and flick some paint all over. The next thing I'm going to do is to take some white gesso and smudge across the whole thing. Now this is dry, we're gonna go back over it with the Distress Ink. And you'll see why in a second. It tones down that white. And it's making this look more like layers of old wallpaper and plaster work that have been peeled back. Around the edges I'm going to go slightly darker. Yummy. May not be to everyone's taste but it's for a man's journal. So I'm loving it. I think that's beautifully toned. 
Okay, we're not done though. <laughs> of course not. Take what I've got left of this Distress Collage Medium Vintage and go over this front cover with that. There's not much of this here now and it's, I'm hoping it's gonna be okay because it's quite thick and gunky. And again, it will tone it. I wanna see how badly those brush marks show a little bit. So I'm going to rub over where they're showing a lot, which is generally these white areas. Time to do a bit more mark making. This is dry, everything's sealed down. So we're gonna take our cardboard packaging which I've done before, but I liked the effect, so we're doing it again. And the black gesso, we are just going to do some marks. Got some already gone on there. And we wanna go a different way. Let's go this way. Oops, it's kind of getting all gunked in together, isn't it? Might have to. Get some water on this lot. See where we're at. We lift it better. Yeah. That's okay. Don't mind that. Okay, why is this not marking as I want it to mark? Probably not thick enough. I'm going to get the acrylic, which is thicker, and the black. And we're going to try folding that in on itself so I don't get too messy and try doing this one here. It might just be my brush is a bit wet. Let's see if we can get something better this time. Yeah, that's better. much prefer that. Go to that corner there. That's better. I had a look at this with what I was going to put on the front of this journal. And I don't think I need to do anything more to the front of this journal. So I'm putting this to one side for now because the inside needs doing as well. The advantage of doing the pieces when we wrap is that it makes it much easier to come over these corners, less bulk, much easier to do your hospital folds or however you want to come over this corner because you're not dealing with huge sheets of paper at that point and you can trim bits off. The first thing is covering the whole of this inside like we did the outside. The only difference is we're not going to do tons of art treatments to this. So pull bits over, smooth it down. If you have a big bulky corner, then cut a little bit off so you can do it a little bit neater. I will show you that on this one maybe. Right, so on the corners, up here for example, what we're going to do is come across, but with a slight, very slight curve like that. And that is gonna help fold everything in reasonably neatly, but still cover that corner. But any issue with covering corners, honestly, can be fixed with a bit of, when you do this type of cover, can be fixed with a bit of paper, a bit of paint, a bit of stain. That's why I like doing these style covers. They don't require 
accuracy. So I will keep working my way around this lot, which will take some time. And when it's all dry, we're gonna put the inside cover on. To stick the napkin down, same as before, Mod Podge or a glue all over. Right, grab this one, just line it up reasonably well, smooth it down. You will get some wrinkling, that's all fine. Then we have our second piece. Let's just cover this as gently as possible so we don't rip it. Do not go over it too many times. That's now dried off and it looks okay. I'm gonna just see what would happen in this corner if we added a bit of that color. over that white I think that looks a bit better yeah preferring that there's bits that need to be stuck down a bit more but that's okay not going over the balloon so much as the white obviously if you hit a balloon that's fine and then I've got some bits going in stronger than others that's fine literally spread it because it is distressing actually that might be worth doing give everything a bit of a squirt let's do that see what happens always be willing to experiment I've got a feeling I'm gonna like this okay Let's leave that to dry. Yep, I like that. So now I just want to find my Sherlock Holmes and get him on the front cover. I'm going to use the Fabri-Tac. Then it's just a question of lining it up. I think that looks okay there. Give it a good rub down. So that is our Sherlock Holmes mystery journal cover done. Next time we'll put the papers in. I think this has been long enough, long enough day. <laughs> if you have enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. That does help YouTube push it out into the algorithm and bring new people to the channel. You can subscribe if you have enjoyed this video or leave me a comment as to what you think about my cheat covers in the comments below. And I will see you next time.